Happy New Year guys, I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. We're back with another video today. And I thought I'd take you through some of my recent pickups, some of my favorite pickups I got, and a few things I got for Christmas. I thought I'd show you, it's always good to show you what we've got recently and like what I'm kind of wearing at the minute as well. And not just clothing as well, we've got a few fragrances, a few new fragrances, a couple of pairs of trainers, as always. So yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and I'll link everything in the video in the description down below. So as you guys know, I'm proper into my fragrances, aftershaves, scents at the minute. And I'm always trying to find like new ones that are really nice, but not too expensive, do you know what I mean? So I actually did get two new fragrances for Christmas. I didn't even know I was getting these to be fair, so it's very good listening from Laura. She smashed it. So the first one we've got, I've actually been wanting this for a while, is Prada Ocean Luna Rossa. We tried the carbon one. Um, a couple of weeks ago in the fragrance video, like a couple of months ago, but I tell you what, the ocean one is delightful, you know, very fresh. I do prefer fresh fragrance. This is a good daily fragrance to the office. You can even wear this, I'd say, in the gym, on the daily. Um, if you want it quite minimal at night, if you're not for a date as well, this is really good. But yeah, I'm a big, big fan of this Prada one. Luna Rossa Ocean, class fragrance. Very happy with that. So another fragrance we got as a gift, actually from Laura's mum and dad, is Mont Blanc Explorer Ultra Blue. A lot of people were telling me try Mont Blanc Explorer. I did try it, the original one. It's got a black label instead of blue. And it is nice, don't get me wrong, but I think I do prefer the blue version. Again, it's very fresh, a very good daily. Yeah, it's lovely. I do like the Mont Blanc fragrances. There's a couple of other Mont Blanc ones which are really nice as well, but I'm very happy with these. I am going to be getting into my fragrances a bit more, I'd say, um, in the upcoming weeks, months, because I do like talking about it. I like the different smells, the scents, trying to find which ones last the best, you know what I mean? And ones that aren't like Creed, which is like 200 quid. I'm only spending 200 quid on a fragrance. We also did get a couple of pairs of trainers. Well, I bought a pair myself and then Laura got me a pair. So this is a pair from the Laura. I always used to go on, she had a pair of triple white dunks, night dunks, and they only go up to like a size nine or size eight because the women's. But you can Nike ID dunks, can't you now? So, what do you have? It's coming out of the box. Finally get it out of there. So, Nike by you. Remember Nike ID back in the day? It used to be on the computer, like a dead old computer in ICT, making like some football boots, some proper vibrant colours. Used to be the one. Um, but now we're just doing triple white trainers instead. So, triple white dunks. These are going to be class for when we do like soul fit shoots and stuff like that. Even when I'm doing like outfit ideas, you know, for you guys, absolutely mega. You can't go wrong with a pair of dunks. These, the ones that you get for Nike for you as well, are actually better quality than the ones that you get off the shelf. The leather is higher quality. I don't know why, but the leather is definitely better. So we've got these ones. The, the leather's completely different. Like this is more high, it just feels high quality. Yeah. These triple white ones are defo better than these now, aren't they? I don't know about that cream on the, the dunk. It's a bit weird, isn't it? That? But yeah, triple white. Laura picked me these up um, in a 9.5. Um, I'm going to have to stretch them a bit because they do they do rub, but the tent's too big. So 9.5, absolutely spot on. Lovely stuff. So we've got some court trainers from Alan. I think I've probably showed you these before, but... Oh, no. I've showed you these, Anna. They're decent. I've got so many trainers now. I do not need any more trainers for a good while, you know. Yeah, so we've got the court trainer from Arn, white and mid-grey. I think I, I got these in the sale, the Black Friday sale. These are bloody hell. Having a nightmare here. Lovely, these. I do really like the cleans ones, but I also do like these ones. It's like, it's a tough choice as to which ones I prefer. Very tough. The cleans ones seem a little bit higher quality, I'd say. But these are still absolutely class. I think they were 60 or 70 quid. Bit of a bargain. Nice. Good thing about Arn as well, they come with trainer bags, shoe bags, whereas cleans don't. That's one plus from the Arn. Right, so there are the fragrances and the trainers. Moving on to clothing. The Zara hoodies, you can't go wrong with them. So I got this off, I think one of, I think Laura's grandma actually got me a Zara hoodie. One absolute gem. So nice, the quality on the Zara hoodies, I think they're 30 quid or 32 99 I'd say the grey is probably the best quality because when it changes colour sometimes, the wash on garments can affect the quality of the material. 
I've learned to, to know this with sulfur and stuff, with jeans and all that. But the black gets a bit bobbly, but this grey is so smooth and soft. The fit on it is bang on, I wear a size extra large in it. It's definitely my favourite hoodie at the minute, absolutely love it. I did a bit of a, a Reese haul, because I wanted to get some like smart polo shirts and maybe to wear like through the Christmas period and New Year and stuff like that. So we picked up five, there's quite a few, we'll go through them quite quickly. So we've got this one, I've not even took the tags off these yet, which is actually embarrassing. I don't, I've not even worn them yet. But we've got this one, which is oatmeal button ribbed polo. It's nice that, isn't it? The only thing that annoys me about Reese is, because I'm quite tall, I'm like six foot one and a half, six foot two. They tend to come up quite short in my body. And it, it does annoy me because the quality on them is sick, the fit around like the shoulders, the chest, the upper body's mint. They're just always a bit short. And then when you wash them as well, they are gonna shrink a little bit. No matter what material, they are gonna shrink a little bit. So when you're spending like 120 quid on a polo, you don't want it to be too short, do you? It's just a bit annoying. But yeah, like I said, I'll link all the stuff in the description as well. I think Reese have got a bit of a January sale on. So you might be able to pick all this stuff up, stuff up at a bit of a cheaper price. And we've got this golf polo, long sleeve polo, in black. It's a bit more of a thinner material, really nice. I do need to bring out more zip polo shirts for Sulfur because when I bought them out, they absolutely flew out. Like they sold really well, especially in black. So maybe I have to bring out like a, a long sleeve version, definitely. Um, but yeah, I'll be bringing zip polos out soon because they're just mint, aren't they? For summer as well, they're nice to wear. Speaking of Sulfur, I've actually got a sample in of like a quarter zip funnel neck jumper. It's in black. It's well nice, you know. Do you think I should release this sort of stuff? So a bit smarter, be nice for like January, February, March, like the winter. Let us know if you think we should release these, but the fit on them is mint as well. Just a bit smarter, isn't it? Nice to wear for a meal out, or even like a date or something. More minimal menswear. Yeah, let us know. Another long sleeved zip polo from Reese. So this, 98 quid soft grey merino zip polo extra large i always wear extra large in reese as well always again really really nice just a little bit short on the body which is a bit annoying and another polo shirt from reese another one <laughs> zip polo this one is just a short sleeve navy one 68 quid extra large the quality on it is really really nice like really nice guys Big fan of it, just a bit short in the body. The last one is another zip polo, long sleeved, extra large. Oh, 78 quid, apparently this one was. On sale, quite nice. It's not cheap, is it? But it's a bit cheaper than the others. So again, the, the material is quite thin. So these will be perfect for like springtime, definitely. But yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? That is basically everything that I picked up myself and what I got gifted for Christmas. As you get older, you don't really tend to get loads and loads of gifts, do you? But it's more about, I feel like when you have kids, Christmas will be absolutely sick because you see like their reactions and buying stuff for them, you get dead, they get dead excited. And so like, like I've got a, a nephew now and it was it was good like just seeing his face like light up and he's only young, but like next year, you know what I mean? When he understands it a bit more, it'll be better. But yeah, that is everything guys. Actually, no, it's not, I tell a lie. So I wanted to, speak to you about a couple of samples that we got made for sulfur so these are a pair of like smart pants with a pleat down the front of the leg we've added a fake fly onto these as well and zip pockets they've got elasticated waistband drawstrings on the inside uh, minimal just back pocket there and they've got zips at the ankles as well i do need to change this so it's same color on color um, but yeah, this stone colour, stone colour of smart pants. It's the same material as the cargo pants. If you've tried the sulfur cargos, you'll know the material is class. So these will hopefully be coming soon. I just need to make a couple of tweaks to them. And we also got the same colour in the new cargo pants. So the cargo pants are actually out of stock at the minute in black. There's a couple pairs in charcoal left. But we're going to be restocking the black and bringing them out in this stone colour as well. Stone cargos. Absolutely class. If you are like a nice polo shirt or... Um, a sweater or something let us know what you think of the colour guys I think it's so nice so minimal branding there's no branding at all elasticated waistband we just need to move the zips instead of them being like there I'm just going to move them a little bit further there and that'll make them a lot better but the material needs is class we're 
currently in the process of designing a cargo jacket as well so hopefully we can have like full matching sets so you could match like the cargo jacket with the smart pants because it'll be the same material or the cargo pants i'm just so excited for what's to come for sulfur this year because it's, i feel like moving into more of the minimal menswear stuff is just the way to go definitely that's what i love to wear and that's what i know you guys love to wear as well so any feedback is welcome let us know any products that you want to see on the sulfate range and also guys let us know what sorts of videos you want to see on the channel i do want to start coming back with more like vlogs to be honest because sometimes when i'm doing hauls yeah they're good and they show you guys all the new stuff the new and stuff but can get a bit repetitive can't it so the vlogs showing you like my daily life you know it's pretty boring i don't really do anything that exciting it's basically like designing clothes making clothes sending orders out customer service for sulfur and then making content for you guys anyway guys i wish you all the best for 2023 hope you all have a great start to the year get after it like always and i'll catch you on the next one